This is going to be a short tutorial on the standard sleeper sites in Nullsec. They are quite dangerous for frigates, but essentially what you'll need is a micro drive, a data analyzer, and a relic analyzer. When you first walk into the site, you'll be taken to this room, where there is just a data hack. This data hack activates an acceleration gate that basically takes you into the site. This means that you should be uh, protected against any type of scan downs or people hunting you, because you'll get advanced warning. It's like being in a DD complex. So when you uh, when you walk into the site, you'll notice there's three different areas in the site. There's the back area, which has three sentry guns. You have the middle ladder area that has a tractor beam, and you have the front area, which you've walked into, which has about five or six cans. You don't have to worry about the sentry guns at the start, because they won't be able to hit you in the front of the room. Basically, when they're in that position at the back, they can only attack the back room and the middle room. So, when you get about 60 kilometers towards the track beam in the middle, they'll start aggressing you. So, when you've walked in, you just want to start hacking these relic containers. These relic containers uh, have a chance of dropping Meta 9, Meta 6 blueprints, as well as uh, sleepers items. The Meta 9s and the Meta 6s blueprints normally have anywhere between 1 and 10 runs, so the 10 runs can be quite profitable, especially if you get, for example, the Meta 9 uh, cruise launcher. Now, when you've done these two relic cans, you want to head towards this last relic can. This is the special relic can. It spawns an event when you complete it. Essentially, that means that it will spawn a data hack and it's an alarm system, which will give you one minute to hack the can. So, you basically, if you fail the can as well, then you're going to be in trouble because this can, on failure, spawns a rift in the middle of the room. This does a huge amount of AOE damage, so if you're in a frigate, I'd advise you to warp off immediately because you won't be able to tank it. In a Stratus, it'll take you down to about a third, maybe a half armor, and that's with repping. So, it's a huge damage output that you don't want to be near. But on successful hack, it will spawn a pristine container, and these pristine containers are actually really good. They can have a chance of dropping anywhere up to 100 million, as well as the meta blueprints that I was talking about. So completing the uh, completing the hack is quite good on the data one. But if you do fail the hack with the with the data scanner, then the rift that I was talking about will spawn an acceleration gate in the rift as well. So if you do manage to tank it, you can go through this acceleration gate and it'll take you to a second room. And this second room basically has uh, one or two sentry guns in it and has some other uh, relic cans that you can hack. Basically what I'm hacking now is the defense grid switch. And this is basically to start messing around with the sentry guns. Because you want to move these around so that you have a good chance of hacking the back of the room and then the middle of the room. So on the first initial hack, you'll send one of the sentry guns at the back of the room to the middle of the room. And this will allow a less chance of getting hit at the back of the room when you go there and you forget. Which is essentially what we're going to set up to do now when I'm moving towards these three X, Y and Z corner hacks. Basically when you hack these, they'll instantly spawn a X, Y and Z coordinate in your cargo hold. And basically with these three coordinates, you want to put them into the long distance calibrator. There are two different calibrators you can see there. They're the two power containers that are on screen. Uh, the medium one will send you to the middle of the room with the tractor beam and a single sentry gun. The long distance one will take us all the way to the back of the room with the two sentry guns. And basically, the first defense grid that we hacked and moving the sentry gun to the middle of the room, this is to reduce the chance of us getting hit at the back of the room. Because the three sentry guns at the back will be able to can shoot the middle of the room, but the single sentry gun in the middle of the room can't shoot the back of the room. So when this acceleration gate spawned from these three corners being put in the can, we'll, you want to take it and it will take you all the way to the back. And when you get to the back, it's the first time the sentry guns will start shooting. So you immediately want to make velocity towards the defense node that's the data hack. And basically you want to hack this as quickly as possible. Because this will move one of the sentry guns off to a safe spot in the, in the site that won't be able to shoot anything. It won't be able to shoot the front, middle, or back. It just completely nullifies the sentry gun. 
so then all you have to deal with is a single sentry gun at the back so this means that you can easily sig tank it if you keep your traversal up towards the sentry gun so you can see it's moved to all the way over there way away from any of the three different types of areas that we talked about previously now when you're at the back of the room there are containers that you can't see you can only see on the actual screen they don't show you an overview you have to slowly move towards them and you want to basically be within nine kilometers of them and then they'll pop up on your overview on your brackets as well and these are all just normal relic hacks so it's just simple keeping your traversal up while keeping your relic on I'd advise you not to orbit them because it can push your push your traversal towards the sentry gun I mean you should all know the basic orbit mechanics that they can orbit any way which round in a 3D basic sphere so you just want to keep your manual orbit around them it's very easy when you're doing the hack without a micro -walk drive or after an arm because you move so slowly so you just want to do a vertical vertical turn around them regarding the relic cans there should be about six of them in the back of the room so it's just as simple of finding them on the screen and moving towards them. If you can't find them on the screen for whatever reason, just slowly move about at the back of the room and you should eventually bump into them. Because nine kilometers radius to decloak or well to activate the cans is quite considerable. So it should be quite easy to just hit all of them and get them out. Now the sentry gun at the back will occasionally hit you and I don't think you should worry about this at all. A single hit will take you into low shield or maybe even armor if you're unlucky and they get a wrecking or smash and shot. But it's why I recommend doing it in stereo because you can just easily wrap that armor back up with your armor weapon. It's one of the difficult things about doing this in a Tech 2 frigate, one of the exploration frigates, or even a Tech 1 exploration frigate, is that you might not have a armor wrapper equipped. So you really need to keep on board with your movement and your traversal. So regarding the loot, we've been pretty unlucky in this site. Normally you'd expect to have at least three or four blueprints for the Meta 6 and the Meta 9s, and you'd be expecting to get, on average, about 100 million in loot from this site. And that's normally just by doing the front and the back of the room, that's ignoring the middle of the room. So we've just done the sixth camp, and we're going to start heading towards the middle of the room in the Estero. This is where I tell a Tech 2 Explorer or a Tech 1 Explorer to warp off because you're going to need, you're going to take some punishment from the sentry guns because the sentry gun at the back will keep shooting you all the way through and the sentry gun in the middle will start shooting you at about 70 kilometers off. So the micro drive pulses every 10 seconds and the sentry gun seems to shoot every 12 or so seconds. So essentially what you want to do is you want to micro drive pulse between every single shot of the back sentry gun. This will get you to the middle of the room a lot quicker, so you're not taking anywhere near the amount of punishment. Also, if you do it well, you can actually still speed tank the back sentry gun, as you can see just then. But it's just there to get you there quicker. And also, by doing this, there's a better chance that you won't take anywhere near the amount of punishment that you should from the middle of the sentry gun. This means that you won't be getting shot by two sentry guns at the same time. Because being shot by two will break the Astero tank, depending on your fit, of course. But it gets a bit scary at some points. Now, when you're heading towards the middle, when you get there at this close, you really want to try and keep your traversal up to the middle turret. You will not be able to keep your traversal up to the back turret because you're so far away now. It will just keep shooting you, but it will be at reduced damage. So you're expected to take around 200 damage every hit from the back gun, maybe as little as 120. But the middle gun, you can keep your traversal up on him and just out and just beat his traversal, essentially, meaning that he'll do no damage. When you get within this close, you want to set your orbit on the sentry gun to 500, and this means that you can safely hack the data can without the middle sentry gun ever hitting you. And you'll just need to keep your pulse rep going on your armor wrapper because you're going to take a continuous amount of damage from the back of the room so it's more of a DPS check than anything. So when you're doing this hack it's just a normal data hack like every other data unit you've been doing in this site so it will be a red 
normally a red desk core and when you complete the pack the sentry gun will just despawn completely it won't get moved to a random place like the other one off, so essentially off about 150 kilometers off doing nothing it will just completely despawn so now it's just this track to be here and this is where the real issue comes with the medium sleeper site when you're doing it this way where you go to the back of the room and the frigate it is bugged out at the moment so you'll get this message and the track beam is powered down permanently this is meant to happen after it's tracked beamed in four or five cans so essentially that means this is the end of the site hopefully this will change because I've been told it is a bug so they'll be doing some sort of issues with it some sort of fix hopefully but yeah that's the end of the medium sleeper site in a frigate, so fly safe.